Hello everyone, this is Andrew from Crown Academy of English. Today's English lesson is a lesson about kitchen vocabulary. So, in this lesson you will learn several words and expressions related to the kitchen and cooking. So let's start. So this is called a stove this part here. So a stove is a hot surface on which we heat food. And this is called an oven. An oven. So an oven has a door which we open and close and the heat stays inside the oven. And this is a special type of oven called a microwave oven. So a microwave oven cooks food very quickly. And finally, on this photograph, we have four drawers. So we have the top drawer, then this is the second drawer, the third drawer, and finally the bottom drawer. So this is called an oven glove. Sometimes in American English they call it an oven mitt, M-I-double-T, okay? But in British English we call it an oven glove. And we wear an oven glove to protect our hands from the heat. So when we put something in the oven, for example. And here is another stove. And this one is a gas stove. You can see the gas here. So the whole thing, the whole thing is the stove. And each of these four things are called a gas ring. So this is a gas ring. And here are three other gas rings. Okay, so the stove has four gas rings. And this is called a sink. Okay, this is the sink. So we wash the dishes in a sink. And this is a cupboard. So the cupboard is under the sink. And on the wall, we have some tiles. So the general word for these things, each of these are called tiles and they are on the wall so we call them wall tiles and that is to differentiate them from the tiles on the floor so these are called floor tiles and so here is a photograph of a fridge it is the inside of a fridge so we can see there are some bottles inside the door of the fridge. We have some eggs up here on the top. And here is a shelf. So we put the food on a shelf. This is the top shelf. And there is another shelf here. This is the middle shelf. And there's more food on this shelf. And finally, this is the bottom shelf and there are some yogurts and some carrots i think that is some grated carrot on the bottom shelf okay so this is the singular form and this is the plural form there are three shelves in the fridge there are three shelves in the fridge and this is because it is an irregular um, plural so when a noun ends in the letter F, in the plural form, we remove the F and add V-E-S. And it's one syllable, shelves. The chef is chopping vegetables. He's chopping vegetables with his knife. The chef is wearing a blue apron. So this is an apron, 
Okay, so he's wearing an apron. It's a blue apron. So an apron protects his clothes, keeps his clothes clean. And he is holding a knife. He's using the knife to chop vegetables. And the vegetables are on a chopping board. So this is called a chopping board. Okay. This is called a frying pan. So in, with a frying pan, we pour oil into a frying pan and we cook eggs, for example, or we fry food. Okay, we fry some other food. And this is called a saucepan. And we use a saucepan to heat and to cook um, liquid foods, for example, soup or maybe a sauce. Okay, so this is the handle of the saucepan and this is the handle from the frying pan. Okay. This is called a wooden spoon. This is a spatula. So a spatula is a flat object and we use it, for example, to if we're cooking something in the frying pan. For example, if we are cooking fried eggs in the frying pan and we want to um, remove the eggs from the frying pan, then we will use a spatula. And this is called a whisk, a whisk. So we use a whisk to, for example, to beat eggs. So we turn the whisk very quickly in a liquid and the whisk adds air to the liquid, adds oxygen and air to the liquid. Okay. We are cooking chicken in a frying pan. And we can also say we are stirring the chicken with a wooden spoon. So this is a verb to stir, S-T-I-R. So it means to turn, okay, to turn the chicken with a wooden spoon. So this is the frying pan, which we've already seen. This is the frying pan. So this is the chicken, obviously. And here is the wooden spoon. So we are stirring the chicken with the wooden spoon. So here is a potato. And this object, this red object, is called a peeler. So this is the noun. This is the noun describing the object. This is called a peeler, vegetable peeler. And this is the peel. Can you see it here? So it's like the skin. It's like the skin on a vegetable or a fruit as well. Um, an orange, for example, has a peel. An apple has a green peel. A lemon has a yellow peel. Okay. So we have a verb as well. We are peeling the potato. We are peeling the potato with the peeler. Okay. So we have the verb to peel. And it means to remove the peel from a fruit or vegetable. So to remove this skin, to remove the skin from a potato, for example. So we are peeling the potato with the peeler. Okay. So this is a block of cheese, a piece of cheese. In fact, I think this is Parmesan cheese. Okay, and this object, this metal object, is called a grater. Grater. So this is the noun, this is the object, this is the thing. Okay, and the result, so when we use the grater, then we create 
grated cheese grated cheese okay and we also have a verb of course we have a verb we are grating the cheese so we are grating the cheese with the grater so to grate this is the verb and it means to rub food against a grater against this to cut it into small pieces so these are the small pieces and the result is grated cheese or perhaps grated carrot for example okay this is this metal thing is called a colander colander so it is a metal bowl with holes in it there are small holes here and the holes allow water to pass through it okay so here we say the vegetables are in the colander so we often use a colander to wash vegetables so we put vegetables in the colander and then we wash them with water and the vegetables stay in the colander but the water passes through the holes in the colander okay this object is called a kettle a kettle we use a kettle to boil water you can see the water is boiling and steam is coming out of the kettle steam s t e a m is coming out of the kettle and the kettle is on the stove remember this word this is the stove it's the hot surface and it looks like a gas stove so the kettle is on the stove the kettle is boiling water on the stove and can you remember the word for these things here these little squares or rectangles yes these are tiles so these are tiles and we can say that they are wall tiles because they're on the wall and here is a different type of kettle this is also called a kettle but we call this one an electric kettle so this is an electric kettle so this is also for boiling water and we plug it in into a, a power socket okay so this is the wire and this is the plug so we plug this into an electrical socket teapot teapot so here is a recipe for making tea put the tea leaves into the teapot and then add hot water so we open the teapot we put tea leaves inside and then we add hot water from the kettle okay boiling water in fact here's a very common object particularly in England and, and the United Kingdom so we start with slices of bread so here is a slice of bread and here is a, an another slice of bread and the object is called a toaster an electrical toaster okay so we put two slices of bread in the toaster and then push the button down so we put two slices of bread inside the toaster and then we push the button down okay and we wait for a few minutes and then when it is ready the toast pops up we say the toast pops up at the end this metal object is called a ladle ladle so it's a very um it's a flat and deep 
spoon. Okay. And here is another example here. This is another photograph of a ladle. So this one contains um, some soup, I think, minestrone soup. And this one contains a sauce. It looks like um, perhaps chicken curry. So we serve soup and sauces with a ladle. Okay, ladle. This object is called, um, these are scissors, scissors. And it's always in the plural. So there's only one here, but we say that, um, we call, we say scissors. We can also say pair of scissors as well. Okay. And these are herbs, different types of herbs. So herbs, this is the general word. So here we have four different types of herbs. I think this one is mint, mint. This one is parsley. Here are some chives. And I think this one is thyme, which is spelt T-H-Y-M-E. I think, I'm not sure. If I'm wrong, tell me in the comments, but I think that's right. And finally, do you remember the, the word for this white thing, this white thing here? Chopping board, chopping board. Remember, we saw this word earlier. So this thing here, this food, is called dough. Be careful of the pronunciation. Dough. And this is a rolling pin, a rolling pin. And this white powder is called flour, flour. So we use a rolling pin to make dough flat and thin before cooking it. Okay, so we make it flat and thin like this. This is flat and thin. And then we put this into the oven and we bake it. So I think, um, I think the young person is making perhaps some biscuits or cookies, okay, with the dough. So this is a bottle. This is called a bottle top, a bottle top. And this object here, this object is called a bottle opener, a bottle opener. So we use a bottle opener to remove the bottle top from a bottle. Okay, so to remove the bottle top from the bottle, okay? or we can simply say to open the bottle. So we often use this with, yes, bottles of soda, or Coca-Cola, and often with beer as well. If you, have a if you have a bottle of beer, then you need a bottle opener to remove the bottle top, to open the bottle, okay? This object here, this black object, this is called a corkscrew, a corkscrew. And this is called the cork, the cork. So we use a corkscrew to remove the cork from a bottle. And here is another example. This is a slightly different one, but it's the same name, it's a corkscrew. This is called a can opener, a can opener. And this is the can. So we use a can opener to open a can of food. Okay. This is a knife. This is a fork. And this is a spoon. And this red thing, this is called a napkin a napkin. 
So we use a napkin to wipe our hands and to wipe our face after we have finished eating. Okay, so here we have a cup. So this, it looks like there's coffee inside it. So it's a cup. And this is called the saucer, the saucer. So the saucer is underneath the cup. And this spoon, this small spoon, in English, we call this a teaspoon, a teaspoon. Even if we are drinking coffee, we still call it a teaspoon. We don't call it a coffee spoon. It's always, we always call it a teaspoon. So it's the name that we give to this small spoon. So we often use this spoon also perhaps to eat yogurt. Okay. But again, we call it a teaspoon. And this is a different type of cup. This, um, so we use this also for drinking coffee and tea. And this is called a mug. So a mug does not have a saucer and it's slightly, um, it's slightly bigger. It's a big cup. Okay. Salt and pepper. So example, we would say to someone, please pass me the salt and pepper. So this means, please give me the salt and pepper. Okay. This is a glass. So here, since it contains water, we say this is a glass of water. And this red object is called a straw. So we drink the water through the straw. We suck the water through the straw to drink it. And this is called a jug, a jug. So a jug is a large container that contains a large amount of water or another liquid. So since it contains water, we say that this is a jug of water. Okay. So there we are. That's the end of the lesson. I hope you've learned lots of new words and expressions today. If you're interested in private online lessons, then click here for the prices.